on what we thought about it. Sequoia's uh, amazing. We're going to move on to the next person. Yeah, that is a really awesome yeah. game. Uh, Derek Jolly asks, uh, what thought you Legend were saying, of Zelda Darren. game would you like to see remastered in HD? You guys there? Yeah, with yeah. The, with, I'm just I'm pondering the yeah. question. Uh, what, what Legend of Zelda game would you like to see remastered in HD? And uh, in the future on NX. And I have to step out for one second because my computer's about to die because I forgot to plug the power in when I moved it. But <laughs> oh. keep talking. Okay, so I'm going to assume since he said remaster, it doesn't mean remake, which means we can't choose 2D titles. No. Uh, which means we can only choose one game, which is Skyward Sword, because it is the only 3D Zelda title that has not yet been remastered in HD. <laughs> If, I think of, I'm correct on that. Yeah, it, it's it's the only one which hasn't been upgraded from what it was originally. The problem is you would have to carry over the control system, and would you? We, we don't. Again, we know nothing about the NX. It could have Wii Motion Plus. We, we it, you know, it could work. It could theoretically work, but I, I feel, I mean, Skyward Sword wasn't that long ago. In comparison, I mean, yeah, I can't remember when Ocarina of Time was remade. Was that 2010? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm pretty but, sure it was ten years yeah, afterwards. Something like that. So it's it's a it's at least a decade of a gap. So that's that's a reasonable amount of time. You you remake Skyward Sword and that's like you know five six seven years. That's that's you know when when I expand it out to seven years, it sounds like oh it's not much not much of a difference, but it's it feels very memorable to me still. It wasn't that long ago, so I feel it is probably the only game left you could remaster because could you do the two D games? Could you really polish them in such a way that would warrant a remastering I, you, know, you, you can't really but Skyward, yeah. Skyward Sword is very recent so at least in my mind yeah yeah. let me uh, now that I'm back and my screen isn't blacked out as I'm trying <laughs> to read the question like I was literally sprinting because I'm like no my computer can't crash right now um, <laughs> uh, so motion. he did he said you know what what Legend of Zelda game would you like to see remastered on the NX or Wii U uh, such as Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD, or any other Nintendo game, for that matter. Um, so obviously we'll start with the, the Zelda stuff as you guys were talking. Um, and since I jumped in, I might as well say what game I want to see them do it to. Uh, I don't think Skyward Sword is going to happen, not just because it's, it's recent, as you were saying, uh, Rabid Luigi. Mm. I think... Uh, the controls. I, I, I think it's because the NX isn't going to support Wii Motion controls. Yeah, that's what he was saying. And yeah. Yeah, that, that's too central to the game. So so I think, I think, and this is what fans originally wanted, is that Ocarina of Time is going to get remastered into HD. And they're going to, like, really blow it out. Now, this isn't going to happen yep. for, like, I mean, this guy says, what do we want? So this is what I would like to see happen. Um, and I'm not even a big Ocarina of Time fan, but I, I don't see a big... Uh, a big boost coming to any other Zelda game except bringing the 64 ones in. Uh, I mean, you could talk about the 2D ones and all that stuff, but I, I mean, I, I want to see Ocarina of Time and then obviously lead that into Majora's Mask getting fully blown out. Yeah, I don't want to see um, Ocarina I was going of Time to say, remade. I want to see it, or I don't want to see it remastered. I want to see it, like, remade, like, built from the ground up in, like, yeah. HD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm with you on that. And, uh, you know, building off of that, I kind of want to see Twilight Princess hit again with the tech demo graphics. That would be awesome. Um, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Um, so my choice is kind of based on uh, what I think is more possible to happen. Because um, I don't think a 2D move into 3D is highly possible or highly likely. I don't think Twilight Princess is going to be revisited. I don't think Skyward Sword is going to be possible to do. At least not at this time. Um so I think that Ocarina of Time kind of serves as a good revisit, even though it's going to need a lot of work, obviously. Um, either rebuilt from the ground up or uh, given the Final Fantasy VII remaster treatment without necessarily changing the perspective of the game. Like Final Fantasy VII Remastered, what they did with that is that that's basically not even a remaster. They remade the game. Yeah. Um, and I, I almost want to see that happen with Ocarina of Time, but I don't think they need to. I think the base coding... And the physics and everything else would be just fine. They would just need to overhaul the graphic engine um, and give us way updated, you know, models and textures and all that stuff. Um, you know, even if they made it look like Twilight Princess HD, that's like a huge upgrade 
over what uh, Ocarina of Time is right now. So, but then again, that also comes down to what does Nintendo think Ocarina of Time's visuals are supposed to be? Are they supposed to be like what they looked like on the N64, which seemed a bit more realistic? Or are they supposed to be like Ocarina of Time 3D, which leaned more towards the cartoony side? Um, I don't know what the original vision was intended because the N64 might not have been able to do what the original vision was. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That That's just the game I, I think they should revisit and bring into HD, even though, and you folks might be thinking I'm a hypocrite, I don't, I'm not a huge Ocarina of Time fan. Um, but I think it deserves an HD treatment. I'm with you. I think it deserves an HD treatment. You know, it's one of the most famous Zelda games, if not the most famous uh, the more famous one might be, you know, the NES game. But uh, it's definitely, uh, it was revolutionary for the series with the first 3D Zelda game. Uh, it nailed the it controls, uh, you know, for the, N6, for the N64 era. Like, a uh, franchise moving into 3D and nailing the controls, that that was a little rare. I mean, Nintendo was able to do it with a lot of franchises like Mario 64. Uh, but I thought Ocarina of Time was a bit more polished in that game. And it was definitely revolutionary, not just for the Zelda series, but for gaming in general. So I, I definitely agree it needs to be uh, remade and given the HD treatment. Yeah, I'd, I'd say... Anything else you want to add? Well, I'd, I'd say Ocarina of Time, the 3D version, if you were to remake the N64 version, it does undermine the, the 3DS version quite a lot. But the problem is 3D isn't much of a selling point. So you say, Ocarina of Time, 3D, that's kind of a gimmick, it's kind of interesting, as was, as is the 3DS. HD Ocarina of Time is quite exciting. I, I like the idea of Hyrule Field looking like a field. That's that's the thing, because Hyrule Field is a carpet of grass. It's, it's, you know, too perfect. It needs to have, like, motion. If you... I don't know how much you would change it would, if it would just be graphics, or if you would, like, polish up, like, how the water reacts to you, or things like that. But it's it's not messing too much while also making it worthwhile to actually remaster it. And I feel, you know, there's a, there's a few things mechanically you could change, but the, the graphics, making it into HD is just ridiculous. It would be... I'm not sure if people would, like, really want to... It, it wouldn't... If you... If, for example, theoretically, this is a stupid, stupid idea, but if you released... Or if you had an option between releasing the NX with Zelda... NX, new game, whatever it is... Or a HD remaster of Ocarina of Time. I feel like it wouldn't perform as well because Ocarina of Time does have like that like global appeal, but you know you want a new game. So I kind of with uh, feeding back to the question, I don't want Nintendo to focus too much on remaking or remastering a game. But if you are going to do one, and to be honest, there's only one you could do, it would have to be Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah, and. To be to Nintendo's credit, um, at least in all of the recent remasters, uh, the Zelda team itself has only been responsible for one of them. Um, everything else has been outsourced. Uh, Grezzo did two of them, and Tantalus Studios out of Australia did Twilight Princess HD. So uh, th- I think w- what we're getting at with Ocarina of Time is that in order to bring it to HD, it needs a lot of work and a lot of attention. Yeah. A lot more than Grezzo gave, you know, Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D, and a lot more than what uh, Tantalus gave to Twilight Princess HD. So it's one of those things where you almost don't want a external studio taking care of it because you're not sure they're really going to get it right. Um and that's kind of the caveat. We've kind of reached a point with uh, with remasters where, uh, especially HD, I mean, you can still do some stuff with 2D ones if you want to update the sprites and update the resolution or whatever. Uh, but with the 3D ones, we've kind of reached a point where Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are the only ones that aren't really in HD besides Skyward Sword. And as we already discussed, the obvious reasons why we've kind of reached, now that we know that the NX is coming out March next year, kind of reach the end of the possibility of Skyward Sword HD unless for some odd reason they release it this holiday for the 30th anniversary <laughs> which I don't think I don't think that's ha- they just did Twilight Princess HD there's no yeah, way that they also had Skyward Sword HD going there's just no way in my mind they, they had that um, even though I think Skyward amazing, Sword upgrading to no. HD well I think Skyward Sword upgrading to HD is really easy to do 
Probably the easiest yeah. of all the games they have. And Scarlet Sword and um, HD looks really good. The way good, the art style it, is, like in the Dolphin emulator. Yeah, if you look at the Dolphin emulator, it, it I mean, it's not even really a mod. It's just displaying the in-game graphics in HD, and it's amazing. Um, there's like no retexture. It just looks fantastic. So, I it is possible, but I I just don't think so. But since not all Wii U owners necessarily have Wii motes, um, I just don't think it's going to happen. But yeah. You know when it, you know you brought up a good point about uh, you know would we rather have Ocarina of Time HD, which is going to take a lot of work, or would we rather have a brand new Zelda game? No, my answer is a Zelda fan is always new game every time. Rather have new game, but it does feel weird that there's these HD remasters and Ocarina of Time is not one of them. Um, yeah. I mean, that, that's the only thing. Like, it just feels weird because Ocarina of Time kind of was the base for all these other games. So it feels weird that that's the one, you know, even if they never do it to Majora's Mask, they just decide Ocarina of Time alone. Like, that's, it, it's, I mean, Ocarina of Time 3D is already one of the best-selling 3DS games. Um, and that sold 4 million. And if the reactions to the videos that we've posted, like, we've posted a lot of Unreal Engine videos, uh, remaking Zelda stuff and most of those videos have been about Ocarina of Time um, the amount of views and the amount of interest we get in those is higher than we get for Zelda U's reveal back in 2014 huh. um, so like I don't know if that's indicative overall of sales because we're just one site on the internet um, but there's a high interest in Ocarina of Time coming out in HD uh, so I think it's one of those that if for some reason Zelda U's sales tank, let's say Zelda U collectively only sells like 2 million units, just terrible, absolutely terrible for a 3D Zelda game. It would be the worst selling 3D Zelda game of all time if that happened. So let's say that happens. They invested all this money in the game and it just bottomed out. Okay, well, they're not about to turn around and make another 3D Zelda game because they just blew a bunch of money and didn't make anything back. And I think in that scenario, that's when they might look at, let's revisit Ocarina of Time. And look at the sales that got, and we already know we're probably guaranteed three to four million in sales already, and base it on a budget of only selling like three million copies. Um, and in that way, I could see where that would just be a scenario that, as a scenario, I don't want to see. Um, but then they would be that would be where they decide we need to take a break from the 3D Zelda games because they're just not selling. And then we uh, release Ocarina of Time, will they make more handheld games or whatever? Um, and then if that is successful, then come back to the 3D Zelda games, um, you know, say eight years from now or whatever. And I hate saying that. I don't want that to happen. I want like a new, I want a new home console Zelda game like every three years. But, um, you know, it, business reality is, is that if the sales tank, then they can't keep doing it. So what we're saying uh, is that when they, Zelda Wii U comes out or, or NX, buy that thing or we're buy in it. big trouble. Buy it. <laughs> Right? It's something I've uh, actually been subtly saying, um, you know, over the past couple of years. I'm like, I don't think fans understand like how much Zelda U sales are really going to impact the future of the series. Um, it's not just like for Zelda U, what it is trying to be a new foundation for the series, but like Nintendo voiced. I've never seen them voice this publicly before. They voiced that they were upset with the sales of Skyward Sword, um, and Skyward Sword sold 3.5 million. So, like, if they're upset with $3.5 million and that was one of the most expensive games they've made at that time, and now Zelda U is probably even more expensive, and if it sells even less, whew, um, you saw what they did with Metroid after Other M. They pulled the plug. So, I'm not saying they're going to pull the plug on Zelda overall, Come but they could pull the plug. there's Federation the Force. Yay! Yeah, okay. well, that, well, that's kind of what I'm saying, though. <laughs> There's not like a new mainline Metroid game hitting. Legend of Zelda um, Federation. I can see them. Yeah, no. like they would just pull the plug on 3D Zelda <laughs> games. Be like, look, we're gonna keep making handheld ones because they're cheaper and we make money on them. And then we'll just revisit 3D down the line when people have had a break because they might think maybe people are just sick of 3D Zelda games. Just, I don't know how we can be sick of them when we have five year breaks between games. Yeah. Um, but people are. There's a lot of people mad at Nintendo that it's on NX. There's a lot of people mad at them that the Wii U is terrible in their opinion. Um, 
All I can say is that I'm hoping that what happens is when the NX comes out, they discount Wii U's down to 100 bucks. And then if you really want to play Zelda, it's only going to cost you 160 Have a good day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there we go. I mean, that's what I'm hoping they do. Like, discount Wii U's. Go enjoy that Wii U backlog for cheap. And if you want the latest and greatest, buy an NX for 300 or 400 whatever they launch it at. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, well, to get into the second part of your question, Derek, uh, you did ask, you know, if there's any other Nintendo game that we might want to see remastered. Um, I'll, I'll say we, that we each can na- list off one game we want to see remastered. Uh, that's not Zelda. Um, and I, man, that's a that's such a tough question. Because um, it's really Nintendo's been really weird in that they remaster Zelda and like nothing else. Um. You know, I'd have to say, I mean, it's a cop out to say Mario Star 64. Fox 3D though. <laughs> Yo, know, that, that's basically what Star Fox Zero is. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, but yes. Uh, let's see. I, I'm gonna say. Well, the one game I want to get remastered wasn't made by Nintendo, so I can't say that game. What is it? Oh, man, Secret of Mana, man. Oh. Uh-huh. My favorite game of all time. I remember I that game. See that come back and you know, have the visuals re-upped. Or bring that game into 3D. Oh, that would be sweet. That would be good um, in 3D, actually. But that was, that was Square. and I mean, Apparently Square is getting along with Nintendo right now. But I, until we see proof in the pudding, I'm not going to put much stock in what the rumor wire is saying about that. So let's... Uh, man. Man. Well, why do you think you know, of that? I, th- I think... Yeah, yeah. You know what, you guys? Did you guys have yours ready? Because yeah, I, I got oh, mine ready. Absolutely, I've All got right. mine. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I right, well, you can go you can go first. It. Absolutely. The the game which I think would be absolutely perfect in high definition is Metroid Prime on the GameCube because that was two thousand and two, I think maybe, and it looks pretty good. But I think if you update textures, some of the environments in that game are just really good for GameCube. You, you, you put it in HD and it'll just blow people's minds across the room. I, I feel like Metroid, you know, with, with Other M and Federation Force, is on a tricky path at the moment. I'm not saying that Metroid Prime would turn that around, but maybe it would turn them in the right direction. Not necessarily say, make more Prime games! Just kind of make better Metroid games would be nice. And if you want to start with something, remaster Metroid Prime. It's a good place to go. Yeah, I never thought of that. I'm choosing a GameCube game as well. Um, Super Mario Sunshine. That was my I, second choice. I really think that game. Yeah, I really think that game would look amazing in HD. I mean, any GameCube game or N64 game remade in HD, I'm sure would look great. But for some reason, Super Mario Sunshine just sticks out in my mind. I mean, it's an amazing game. I'd love to see it remade like in HD for uh, the NX. That would be awesome. Okay, so my game, I don't know if it counts, but I know that Nintendo at least owns the name, so I think they own the IP rights to it. Um, no, I, no, I just lost the name of it. It literally just came to my mind. Names. It's a horror game. <laughs> name some characters. Uh, Eternal Darkness. There we go. <laughs> Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness, okay. Yes. Uh, it, was a, it was made by Silicon Knights, um, but... Nintendo licensed it, so like Nintendo paid for it and published it. So it is a Nintendo controlled game, I believe, which is why uh, Silicon Knights never made a sequel or anything else because Nintendo didn't give them the right to. Uh, it was a very, very good game. Uh, I know that there was like a Kickstarter project like last year, or the year before, uh, where Dayak and some other people tried to like make another game that was similar to it. Don't even know if that game's still happening anymore, but. I would love to see it brought back because I do feel, even though there's been a large indie movement push towards making quality uh, horror games, there still isn't really a big AAA horror experience that consistently hits. Hmm, yeah. So if there is going to be a game that I want to see brought back, it would be Eternal Darkness as a way of reintroducing Nintendo fans to what a good horror game is. And then, you know, hopefully, you know, building off of that and bringing some more regular. Like, I know they had, uh, what was it, uh, Fatal Frame uh, on Wii U. 
and that was kind of a horror game. I think it actually is a horror game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Blackwater Maiden, but like it's that's a very different type of horror game Maiden than of what Blackwater. Eternal Darkness was. Yeah, Maiden of the Blackwater. Yeah, and that's a very different game than what Eternal Darkness was. So like, bring Eternal Darkness back and kind of continue trying to revive that horror genre because it, it kind of disappeared because marketing people told them that people don't want to buy those games. People want guns. Um, despite the fact that when when Resident Evil. When Resident Evil was a horror franchise, it actually sold really, really, really well. Um, but, you know, marketing people, you only buy online multiplayer shooters. That's all people pay, play these days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, so that's the game I would like to see. I mean, I could list off a zillion Nintendo games, but, like, every game I think of that I want to be remastered are games that are in series that are still going on. And I'd rather just get a new game than worry about a remaster of an old one. Um, the one game I was going to go with was like any of the F-Zero games. Um, as a way to bring F-Zero kind of back into the mainstream or any of the Wave Racer games. Because uh, I don't know why Nintendo decided just to dump the racing games besides Mario Kart. It was weird. Uh, but yeah, a lot of games I kept thinking of were like totally third party. Like Oh, I want to see Rogue Squadron come back. And <laughs> Good game. Good game. Um, Banjo oh. and Kazooie, even though Banjo... Uh, yeah, I mean, you know... Even though I know those games are like kind of sort of remade on Xbox. Uh, but, yeah. That's that's where I'm at, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, uh, Derek Jolly, for your question on Yo. Facebook. Uh, 